This is Nicholas Rossi, or is it? This guy claimed he isn't, but faces being extradited to the US on rape charges. Confused? Let me explain. See, Nicholas Rossi has gone under multiple aliases throughout his life. Raised in Rhode Island, his troubled childhood saw him end up in the care system where he claimed he was abused. Fast forward to the crazy story that is. Um, I was attacked by Nick Rossi. In 2008, he sexually assaulted a woman in Ohio, of which he was convicted for. He was put on the sex offenders database and his DNA was later linked to a string of other rape reports. But it wasn't as straightforward as the police calling him in. Rossi was apparently dead. His friends say that in 2019, Rossi claimed he had cancer around the time the police were after him for these charges. He later allegedly died February 29th, 2020. There was even an obituary on his website, seemingly written by himself. However, over in London, that's where someone called Nicholas Brown was, a former Irish orphan who had a very odd accent. Hi, I'm Arthur Knight, and this is my wife, Miranda Knight. Doctor's records show that during his time in the UK, his name changed a couple of times, becoming Nicholas Knight Brown for a while, then Arthur Winston Knight Brown, eventually just sticking with Arthur Knight, which he claims to be to this day. When a photo of Arthur was shown to one of the victims, she claimed that was Rossi. Police in Utah, the UK and the FBI are looking to prosecute him on rape charges and for defrauding his foster parents. He was confirmed as Nicholas Rossi by a sheriff, down to the obvious resemblance, DNA and his tattoos. Arthur and his wife protested his innocence, saying it was just a case of mistaken identity. And the court case to prove this was just as bizarre. Knight claimed he was tattooed while he was in a coma in hospital, accusing someone of trying to frame him as Rossi. Today, Rossi, aka Arthur, was accused of faking his own death, and now he can be extradited to the US to face the charges. 